Welcome, welcome again for a third year here in Mechelen. Welcome to the 16th edition of Brucon. <laughs> so as I mentioned, we are here for our third year in Mechelen, and I think actually we found our new home um, after a couple of editions in Kent, which we also loved, right? And then we changed to Mechelen. In the beginning it was how we will do this, but honestly, this is the place and we're probably gonna stay here. And we're really happy with that. So, again, good place to be. So, first thing to say, workshops. So we're opening more spaces in the workshops. So if you want to attend, register now. There's time between this opening talk and the keynote if you are attending the workshop. So Bertrand is now opening them, so uh, it's done. Okay, it's too late now. If you haven't registered yet, probably all spaces are gone. It's something new, huh? anniversary edition, 16 since, yeah, we've been counting in hex since the beginning. Thought like, why not look for an electronic badge again? The team was easy, of course, needed to be beer themed, especially linked to this location. And Hendrik will, uh, yes. So, this year we want to do something special. We want to go back to a digital badge. We were in luck. We found a company who normally makes pagers and wanted to do something cheap for us. <laughs> we're not responsible if they heat up. Um, you recognize the design. It's based on a copper beer still. And we really wanted to make something that aligns with our slogan, hacking for beer. So we have a Brucon beer game on there. And it's actually virtual beer. Your challenge is simple. Be a brewer, fill up your beer still. You can do it through social engineering because you can actually attach a pipe to your badge and transfer between different badges the beer. If someone donates, they lose their beer, so they are giving it to you. Or you can be a real hacker and just make beer out of thin air the digital way. If you have a filled up badge, if you have a filled up tank, you can come to one of the crew members who are wearing a special pin from the Burkom Beer Company. If you donate your beer to us, we will appoint you official member and you will get a nice free goodie for doing that. So that's a little bit of a challenge. All the information on the badge, brucon.org slash badge, you will find a small readme file explaining what it does, what you can do with it, and also a special shout out, go to the Hackerspace, they have developed their own app for the badge that they can actually put on your badge additionally, and I think they even made some additional hardware add-ons they can put on there, so be sure to pass by and also say hello and play around with them. Thanks. Talking about beer, you'll hear us talking about beer a lot, obviously. So for the people who still recall, for our 10th edition, we brewed our own beer. It was a whiskey-infused beer because we want to make it 10%. Now this is the 16th edition, and arguably we thought, let's start with a 16% beer. But looking at the kick the 10% beer already gives people, we thought, well, that might not be so smart. So we went on a hunt, we went on a search, and we were looking for an alternative. Instead of brewing one beer, we actually picked two beers. Two times eight percentage of alcohol, a dark and a blonde one. And we really put our efforts in, we really did a lot of QA. Well, I say a lot of QA, at least more than CrowdStrike does for their updates. But we really put our heart in, and we looked at the names, and we wanted to pick a special name for everyone here in the group for the beers, so you, in, whenever your boss ask you something, you can use that. So the one beer is called the Belgian Trojan, and the other one is called Infiltrated. But if you ever get a call from your boss and he says, what are you doing? You can always say, I'm handling this Trojan, you need to leave me alone. And that works both for blue and red teams. So please use it at your discretion. Obviously, drink responsibly, but we'll be selling them downstairs. And like I said, they're really good. We have packages with glasses, Brucon branded glasses. And enjoy the beer, guys. Of course, an applause for beer, that's what we need. There's also a CTF challenge, and also an ICS challenge. As of 10, on the top floor, go ahead, play it. Some uh, awesome prizes to win. More information on ctf.brooklyn.org. They'll also be there to give some explanation. There's a hacker run as well. Tonight, there's a party. So what's the best thing to do the morning after? Go for a, a cozy, easy 10K run. 
that's at least what Andy claims. You can shorten the route as well if you want. So tomorrow, 7.30 in front of the Novotel uh, entrance. Awesome retro. Retro gaming, they're back as uh, so many years. Top floor, have fun, play some arcade games. Always awesome to be. Well, Brucon, of course, we need Club Mate. So Hackerspace, Club Mate is available there, together with some lock picking, soldering, and badge support. So if you want to play with the badge a bit more, want some explanation. And at 10 a.m., we also opened the merch sale downstairs where you can buy the beer boxes, T-shirts, but also the beers will, of course, be cooled and available for drinking with uh, the catering. Of course, we need to thank everyone, huh? you, for being here for 16th year, who actually has been attending since the first BrewCon. Impressive. Thank you. Thank you for that one. But we are very happy to be able to organize this as well. And uh, couldn't be doing it without the sponsors, the volunteer, the crew, and everyone attending here. So uh, enjoy BrewCon. Make it a very good addition. And uh, talk to you all later. Absolutely. Yeah, thanks for us. I mean, we are happy we can organize this for a 16th edition. We are so happy with the success we get out of this. Ticket sales, I know, are getting close to selling out in hours where it used to be days. So it's only an attestation on, I guess, what you guys all like and obviously what we like in organizing the conference. Thank you.